This is Mission Control Houston, less than 15 minutes away from the deorbit burn. Atlantis flying 240 miles above the Earth over the Caspian Sea, moving from northwest to southeast in the correct orientation for the deorbit burn that is scheduled for 3.49 and 4 seconds Central Time, 4.49.04 Eastern Time. This will be a 3 minute 16 second retrograde burn of both orbital maneuvering system engines slowing Atlantis down by 331 feet per second allowing the orbiter to drop out of its uh, current orbit and begin uh, the trek back to the Kennedy Space Center where the weather is ideal this morning. No issues have been worked throughout the course of the night. Uh, clear skies, 10 miles visibility, virtually no wind to greet the four crew members aboard the space shuttle Atlantis. The deorbit burn is underway. The propulsion officer reports two good orbital maneuvering system engines. Atlantis starts the beginning of the end of a journey that started with the aerodynamic testing of a craft called Enterprise in 1977, punctuated by the maiden launch of Columbia in 1981, culminating this morning with a night flight to the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis uh, is going to be uh, dumping a uh, propellant out of its forward jets. The uh, aft reaction control s system steering jets will be controlling the shuttle's aerodynamic functions because there is not enough air pressure in the upper regime of the atmosphere for the Elevon's rudder, speed brake, and body flap to become active until the shuttle descends further into the atmosphere. We're 20 Atlantis now at the point of entry interface, now entering the Earth's atmosphere. The uh, force of gravity will be building up against uh, the four crew members up on the flight deck. Atlantis, uh, 74 miles in altitude, range to touchdown 5,000 statute miles. Descending at a rate of 500 feet per second, all of its systems in excellent shape. And again, outside of Building 1 here at the Johnson Space Center, uh, crowds continuing to build here in the final minutes prior to Atlantis's touchdown. Watching uh, the proceedings on a big uh, jumbotron screen uh, right outside of the main administrative building here. And radar tracking now acquired through the Merritt Island tracking station near the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis just 450 miles from its destination, 31 miles in altitude, traveling 10 times the speed of sound, nearing the southwest coast of Florida. The uh, TACANs are the Tactical Air Navigation Aids. Three redundant units aboard the orbiter receiving data of range, elevation, and bearing from radio beacons at the landing site. Now looking over the shoulder of uh, pilot Doug Hurley on the flight deck of Atlantis, this pilot point of view camera. Five minutes till touchdown. Atlantis soon will be going subsonic. Our first view through infrared cameras at the Kennedy Space Center.
Commander Chris Ferguson now flying Atlantis. Three and a half minutes until touchdown. Piercing the pre-dawn sky as the space shuttle announces its arrival at the launch site with its signature sound of twin sonic booms having gone subsonic for the last time. Atlantis, on at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. Pilot Doug Hurley now taking a few seconds of stick time on Atlantis. With a fitting elegance for its final moments of flight, Atlantis takes one last lap around the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis, on at the 90. On at the 90. Commander Chris Ferguson now back on the stick. Atlantis uh, descending at an angle seven times steeper than that of a commercial jetliner. Hey, field inside, Houston. Copy, Atlantis. Field inside. As it approaches the runway, Commander Chris Ferguson will flare up Atlantis's nose to burn off excess speed prior to the landing gear deployment by pilot Doug Hurley. Again, the view from the pilot point of view camera, one minute till touchdown. The pre-flare maneuver executed. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end.
We copy your will stop, and we'll take this opportunity to congratulate you, Atlantis, as well as the thousands of passionate individuals across this great spacefaring nation who truly empower this incredible spacecraft, which for three decades has inspired millions around the globe. Job well done, America. Hey, thanks, Butch. Uh, great words. Great words. You know, the space shuttle's changed the way we uh, view the world, and it's changed uh, the way we view our universe. There's a lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. Inspiring comments, Atlantis. We'll meet you on 5-3. We'll see you there, bud.